All right, now for something completely different. I decided to challenge myself to pick up the French language, not to become fluent because that takes a lot of time, but to basically start, get the basics down, basics greetings, uh, basic conversation, real simple stuff, nothing in depth about the meaning of life and that, but just to get a gist of the language, the culture, the proper way to form the sentences and just hold a simple, polite conversation. And I think they say there's the 80-20 rule where 80% um, of the language, any language, basically comprises 20% of the words and the verbs and stuff like that. We'll see if that's true. So how did I get started? Uh, I kind of work with two folks that learn French. One is a native French speaker. One, one person learned it, uh, one of many languages. And it was funny because Americans can barely speak one language as it is, and we don't learn other languages in school. We don't even learn Spanish. I mean, they teach it, but it's all by book and rote, and you never really can speak it. You can maybe read and recognize words, but they never really give you the right training in school, of course, no surprise there, to actually be not fluent, but basically speak it to a, a native or another Spanish-speaking person or a French person. They just don't teach you the right way. And it's sad. They teach you the old school rote book way. It's just not the way to learn it. Um, one video through my progression was getting away from the French. I, I kind of went down the rabbit hole. How do you learn? How, comes it's, how come you only um, can recognize the language and not speak it? And then uh, that kind of got me in these videos, lots of videos of people saying, well, you should learn like you're a child. You absorb, you listen, you absorb, you uh, immerse, you absorb and comprehend and keep re repetition of that and uh, get into something you like versus just rote, rote, rote. Sure, you need kind of a basic understanding of how the sentences are formed and that, and why not pick that up? You can do that while you're doing the other, just trying to understand what are the commonalities between your native language, like English and French. There's a lot of overlap with uh, the Latin words, which, um, which is very interesting. So my progression so far, having talk to the native speakers to give me some basic introductory greeting skills to then jumping more into it over time. I said, this is ridiculous. I should be able to learn this. I'm a former techie. I learned software languages, which are almost, you're learning stuff, you know, how to piece things together, how to use them in the right context. Language should be the same, but there's such nuances as well, regional and cultural. So that's where I was at. So for the basics, I started with Duolingo. And that was very good. It, I'm still using it. You just zip through as fast as you can. That's the goal. Get through all the exercises as fast as you can just to get the basis. Do not do all the extra things they throw out there. You'll be there forever, like how to level up and that. Uh, use it on your laptop and your desktop as well. It's easier on your desktop versus a phone. That's what I would recommend. I think I paid for it because it was interesting. It was helpful. I still do use it. I try to do one to two lessons a day. And it is gamified where it rewards you, gives you little... Uh, dopamine hits like yeah you're doing well oh you're doing bad you know but it's good it gives you feedback on where you are if you're into that but it does motivate you shows a lot of repetitions of words so it's very good for vocabulary in that it gives you uh, lots of repetitions of words so you pick up house dog you know owl uh, neighbor so that's a good part of it and it it does get you the basic grammar so it is a useful tool but it's not the end all I'm finding like okay, I'm starting to recognize it. I can read, see the words and I can kind of get a gist of what the meaning is, blah, blah, blah. All right. So then I went down the rabbit hole, how to learn. Okay. And that led me to some great videos by other people learning other languages. And it came up with this app. This is a language transfer. This is a free app. And this is the gentleman that goes through uh, 40 lessons. He has a couple languages in there. I'm doing French. And he basically shows you the sentence, the, the um, sentence structure, the uh, how to derive the words based on what you already know in English, you know, and uh, go from there and how to basically conjugate the verb. Well, you know, this word in English, it's pretty much the same word with a shown on the end, you know, invitation, invitation in English is invitation. And then and then you can break that down to uh, invite the invite verb in French by uh, dropping the ION and adding the ER, inv invitaire, I think. I'm Don't hold me. I'm still new to this. So this is a great app uh, for picking it up. I'm going through it yet. I'm on lesson 15, I think. So that's good. And now you want to be blown away. Uh, again, this stuff is cheap. I, I did spend a couple bucks on Duolingo 
Because if you're going to be serious, some of the stuff you have to pay for, but don't go crazy. A lot of the stuff is kind of free. And this one here, ChatGPT, oh my God, I had no idea this was so powerful. So ChatGPT, I'm using it on my iPad. Uh, you can use it on your desktop as well, which I have. And what I did is uh, I, I just upgraded because you're limited to number of prompts when you're using the free plan. So I upgraded to the plus plan, uh, 20 bucks a month, cancel anytime, right? So it's chat GPT. I'm going to go down here, click on the little headphones. You're going to come in and start talking to the AI bot. This is really powerful. It gives you feedback. You go in and you pick up. Let me pause this because it's recording me. You go in and you pick up. Uh, you pick, you select the lady's voice. And I picked the one I saw in other YouTube videos where it sounds like Skojo Ho, Scarlett Johansson with that, not voice fry, but that sultry little voice of hers. And it's kind of fun to speak with her. <laughs> I mean, you almost fall in love with the AA, with the uh, chat GPT voice. It's kind of, kind of funny, right? It's like her, the movie. I think it's her with Joaquin Phoenix where he falls in love with the, uh, the AI bot or whatever it is. It's kind of, it's, it's happening, folks. It's out there. So what you can do here, let me turn this on. There's some uh, basic uh, prompts you can give it. And I've been going through all these prompts, for, uh, combining, aggregating information and uh, what to do. So I'm now actually on this chat GPT. And the reason I did the plus plan, because you are limited to the number of questions and prompts you can do per session, right? I said, screw that 20 bucks. It's worth it to me because I played with it and it's spot on and it's all in the prompting. So uh, let's do a basic prompt and we'll go through it. This is really kind of cool. Let's hopefully you can hear this because I don't have my headphones on it. I have the headphones on the iPhone. I have an iPhone recorded in an iPad. So let's go big daddy. So you basically, it's already built in the microphone and everything. It's going to use your microphone and it's going to listen to you. And we're going to go from there. Let's, let's do some vocabulary thing. Let me get my prompt ready so I don't sound like an idiot. Too late. <laughs> All right. I got my prompts. I'll show you them in a second. Again, they're aggregates from other people's work. So I don't really want to. I'm trying not to steal other people's stuff, but it's very helpful the, what they provided. So let's go tap to activate. Again, this is on an iPad. It's the same look and feel on, on your iPhone. You don't quite get this. You get this on the desktop, but it's not as good with the voice recognition for some reason. It works really good on the mobile devices. So I don't know what the difference is. Uh, tap to activate. Voice chat. And then I'm going to go back in with the headphones right here. Boom. She's gonna. We're going to connect up to her. So right now it's recording. Let's go. Vocabulary quiz. Let's do a French vocabulary quiz. You say a French word and I'll guess its meaning in English. Let's go. Certainly. Let's begin. One table. What does table mean in English? Table. Correct. Table means table in English. There, I think she mispronounced it. I think it's tab table. To finetter. What does finetter mean in English? Finish. Not quite. Finetter means window in English. Let's continue. Chat. What does chat mean in English? Cat. Well done. Chat means cat in English. Here's the next word. For porte. What does port mean in English? Door. It seems like there might be a mix-up. The word is porte, which means door in English. Let's continue. Five stylo. What does stylo mean in English? Pen. Exact. Stylo means pen in English. You're doing great. Here's the next word, six, loon. What does loon mean in English? Oh, gosh. Light or moon? It's moon. Loon means moon in English. Great effort. Yay. Here's the next word, seven. So you guys get the gist of it. And then what happens here, oh, let me get my microphone. It actually will give you a transcript of your chat session. So like I said, light or moon. And she goes, it's moon, loon. Uh... Fenetra, it's like some of the pronunciation is a bit off. It's not 100%, but it gets you close, and it's kind of a free, not a free, but it's a good way to do it. If you can use the free plan, you're going to probably be limited to like 15, 20 interactions, right, before it says, oh, your session's 
you did enough for today. So I just, like I said, I did the chat GPT plus, boom, kicked right in. I can go as long as I want on this. And I think it's kind of a good way. I don't know. I like that it talks back and you can even say, you can do role-playing conversations here. I'm just going to show you this right here. There's some stuff here you can do. Uh, it's all how you prompt this, this thing. It's amazing. You can uh, do basic greetings, uh, vocabulary clues like we just did, conversations and correction. You can have the AI correct you. Again, sometimes even though you're saying it, and if you say it too fast, it may think you're speaking to different languages. So you got to find that sweet spot. And you can even ask the AI to slow down. If it's repeating a sentence too fast, you can say, please slow down, and the AI will slow down for you. You can do an oral exam, listening comprehension test. Uh, learning idioms, stuff like that, Bi bilingual dialogue, practice my conversational, like this guy is doing Spanish, I'm doing French. This is AI, um, and this is by far the, one of the coolest things I found. I found other things online, it was very expensive, but it seemed like the old school way of learning, where this is like, one of the things they tell you, other than doing like the Duolingo stuff, which is good for the basis, the basics, you know, verb, I mean, uh, sentence structure and objects and just identifying stuff, as they always say, immerse yourself and then find native speakers. This is a good um, compromise because you, you're working all day, right? You get home. You're going to call your friend up and say, hey, man, you got 20 minutes to go over some French with me. They're going to be like, no, pound sand because I'm, I'm going to bed or I'm going to spend time with my family. It's very hard. And what are you going to go find a tutor? And that becomes that whole, how much is this going to cost me just to pick this up and find the time, resource management, blah, blah, blah. So this is actually the best compromise I found is a chat GPT. There's other ones out there. There's Bing. Check out the Bing AI. It does the same thing on the desktop as well. You can uh, put your microphone on, boom, 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 have conversations. And I got all these prompts here. I mean, this is some of the stuff I've typed down. These are like prompt things. Chat GPT, learning French prompts. And you can use the same prompts on any of the AI thing. But so far, it looks like chat GPT on the mobile devices, the iPad and the iPhone is awesome. And then you got the Bing on the desktop. I don't know. I've not done the Bing on the uh, iPhone, but I'm sure it works just as good on the, de if not better, on the desktop. But you can see some of my prompts here. Can you teach me about post tense verbs? Can you write me a short story about a pet dog in French? Let's play a game. You know, will you create a French test for a beginner? So the, all the way in how you prompt it. It's almost very Star Trek. You know, computer. You know, all this stuff. It's very... I do not believe it could be this powerful. Again, it's not getting some of my pronunciation answers right. It thinks I'm, you know, if I talk too fast in response in French, it doesn't quite get it. So you've got to find it like the cadence. Are you speaking loud enough and all and so on and so forth. So I would check that out. You know, I'm an idiot. I went to public school. I had years of Spanish and I can never speak it. I could read it and understand it. But if some guy came up to me, just started talking like Mexican Spanish, I'd be like, what? What? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just, it, it was almost a, you felt like a big failure, all the money you wasted on, on that. Even in co college, I had to take Spanish class. What a waste that was. But uh, they don't teach you how to converse in it. I don't get it. What's the problem there? Uh, I don't know. So I found this is really helping me. And uh, the, especially this, and then the other app, which was language transfer. Very powerful. I mean, it's simple. It's just a guy with a student going through uh, structures, uh, sentences, the verbs, how to basically use your brain, not just to rote memorize, but to think about it. And then uh, approach each sentence you're saying in sections. So you're not overwhelmed because you're trying to translate the whole sentence. Boom, you're going to stumble over yourself and just sound like an idiot or not get it right or not learn. Not, it's not right to say idiot, but um, it breaks the sentence out. Like I want you to do this, please, or later. You know, plus tarde, plus tarde, you know, you learn all these basically think it out in steps and then it's easier for your brain instead of trying to think about the whole thing when you're learning. And then over time, boom, 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 it becomes interesting. Now, the next thing I'm thinking of doing is uh, the guy, this one guy learned, oh my God, what was it? Spanish. He, he just got the, uh, the shortened version of uh, the spider verse. It's just an animated thing, but it was fun. So he kept watching it over and over. I want to see if that works too. I've been watching Lupin with the French on, but they talk a little fast sometimes. But I was thinking about finding maybe one of the good episodes and just repeating it, you know, and just maybe run it a few times. It may drive me bonkers, but I might, I don't know, maybe I'll go with the Spider-Verse one 
and uh, on uh, Amazon Prime, and then do the language as French, coming out, you know, coming out as French, maybe with English subtitles, just to immerse and just pick it up and watch it, and then you start learning the dialogue. So it's kind of uh, you you kind of expect that you know you do anything over and over again, you, you recognize patterns, blah blah blah. And he said he could actually speak. Probably not super fluent, but he could have a conversation. So I want to see, that'd be fun just to do that experiment as part of the other tools as well. So this is where I'm coming from, from a, a techie, former techie, I don't do that crap anymore, but engineer where I had to problem solve, design, troubleshoot, find resources. This is my tools right now I've been through. Uh, printing stuff out and looking at stuff, I don't do well with flashcards. I tried the uh, flashcard thing. I just, I'm not going to use it. It's not me. I got to find stuff that works for me. And also even talking with the chat GPD works and screwing up because she'll correct you. You can tell the AI to, she'll, <laughs> you can tell the AI to correct you on your mistakes and you feel stupid because you are saying it right sometimes, but she's interpreting it wrong because it's just the cadence, like I said, or you're mumbling or it's just different. Like Como, she'll say comment. You know, she's not quite getting the accent sometimes on the AI. Uh, other other than this, the next thing is if you find somebody who speaks French, it's going out, but you're always inhibited. You don't want to sound like an idiot or they're talking normally fast uh, and you're not going to catch what they say. And your brain freezes because it almost locks up because you're trying to know, uh, what do I say? Uh, where are you from? Do vien do, 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 vien do, do, is it do, do, do vien do, where are you from? You know, uh, como te allez vous? You know, how are you doing? Aujourd'hui, today, you know. Uh, once you practice that over, and that was when my first greetings was uh, bonjour, comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? And uh, as you keep saying it over and over, it's just part of you now. It's just like anything. It's just, it just, just spits it right out. And then you start thinking about it like aujourd'hui. You break it out aujourd'hui, today. You know, it's all the, the, everything runs together in French. It seems like it's like a flow. It's like a smooth, all the vowels run into the second word. So you have to learn to pick it out. Uh, it's not very like ending on consonants like English or German, you know, like you speak in Spanish. It's, you know, it's more of a flowing thing. That's, that's the trick too when you're doing it live with somebody. But once you start getting the basics down and uh, repeat, so you have to say it too. And I like this chat GPT thing in the language transfer. Duolingo for the basics. Keep going through it. Do not stop on the level up crap. Just go through it. The goal there is to go through the whole roadmap as fast as you can. You know, it's going to repeat a lot of stuff. Uh, but that's my recommendation, man. I'm an idiot. I'm not a linguist. I'm not a language pro. I'm an engineer by trade, and I just wanted to pick up a second language just to keep my brain going and think, you know, basically show that I can do something and learn something different I've never even thought about learning, stuff you hated to learn in school because they threw a textbook at you, which is boring. Um, I think with this approach, the Duolingo, the language transfer, the ChatGPT, and uh, Amazon Prime or Netflix, you can pick a French show up or whatever language you're into, you can do any show and go into the settings and pick the language and it'll, they'll just have their actors come out. You know, most of this stuff like Friends and all these old series, they uh, just didn't make money in the U.S. They shipped them, exported them, and they had uh, native Spanish, native, native French actors do the voiceover. So it's not just reading subtitles the whole time. And that's, that's beautiful. You can find that stuff. So they're speaking it and then you can turn on the English subtitles and just find it, find your favorite short episode of Friends or whatever show you're into, and uh, Big Bang Theory, and just boom, you could maybe just find no no distractions and just repeat, just rinse and repeat that thing, and uh, maybe maybe that's what I'll do. Start start with like a twenty minute twenty minute series, uh, ep episodic, and just repeat the same one over and over. Like Joey does this to Rachel, woohoo! You know, because Rachel's easy on the eyes. It's not hard to keep watching her, and Courtney Cox and all those people. You get it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do versus doing a whole movie. Uh, Spider-Verse sounds interesting, but I don't know if I can watch that an hour. So, I don't know. That's my next test. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is something I'm trying, and it seems to make it more fun than uh, having papers out in front of me and trying to, you know, conjugate verbs. I'm just trying to get the basics, get up and running, and then all the other stuff on the side, you pick it up, and that's where Duolingo comes in which I, I do like. People knock on it, but I, I'm, getting, I'm getting use out of it. It will not make me fluent. It will not make me uh, uh, what be able to hold conversations. I'd just be able to recognize stuff. That's where the other two come in, the uh, language transfer. And in the uh, chat GPT, actually, if you feel under pressure, you saw I was trying to guess the words. And even though I knew it was right, she didn't hear me right or didn't interpret what I said in the microphone right. 
it, it's actually very good feedback. It's almost as if you're with a person. So yeah, maybe AI is better than humans. I want that chip in my head. Elon Musk, make me an AI bot. I don't know. Maybe that's coming soon. Who knows? Maybe you eventually will put a chip in your brain. Boom. And you instantly know this crap. That's probably where we're headed. If we don't destroy ourselves. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. A longer video than it should be. But this is my learning progression so far. And uh, yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. Let's go forth, do great things. I'll continually post this stuff and uh, see how I progress. And I'm, I, My goal is to stay interested, to stay motivated. Because if you are just going through textbooks and printing stuff out and looking at websites, oh my God, I can see how you can drop out. Because it just becomes overwhelming. And again, how did you learn English or whatever your native language is? It's through osmosis and watching your parents speak it and you know you imitate, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can go to sleep and have a video plan or a recording plan. You're going to learn it. No, you got to have some passive input and then active. And that's where I think the chat GPT will be the active and language transfer here is kind of the median where you're listening and repeating. And then uh, Duolingo is the basics, like the grammar and the words and stuff and sentence structure as well. All right, go forth, do great things. I hope this uh, helps somebody or just kind of documents what I'm going through. Uh, yeah, there's some of the prompts again. Man, ChatGPT is powerful for most things. It's really, as an engineer, I'm, I'm blown away and I can see why the AI is going to replace software programming the, and web development is pretty much done. If you're a web developer, you're done. You better go do something else. Uh, yeah, I think engineering's done too. So it's coming. Yep. All right. That's all I got. I hope this was helpful. Talk to y'all later.